What up? What up? What up? Bankroll Tim bedded up. Sunday. Sunday the what? The third? Yeah, Sunday the third. October. All right, y'all. Look at this. 1990 Chevy Caprice. Whatever they call it. Regular roof. I don't know. But anyways, M26 is on there. Them billets. If y'all didn't know, this is how you can tell it's a 90. 90s were the only ones that had the seatbelt in the door. Boom. Anyways, car's clean. Super clean. One of Gucci's. I don't know. Gucci get it gone. One of them cars that they selling, raffling, I don't know. But I'm gonna pick up the front end just a little bit. Do a little bit of a custom alignment on it. Steering wheels to the left. Um, these are the wheels that came off the blue car that burned. And they had them fixed, cleaned up, whatever. They look good. Um, had some bad studs on the back right wheel, so when they changed it, the lug nuts didn't want to come off. Ended up breaking uh, two lug nuts, two studs on the back right wheel. I didn't take the wheels off the blue car, but I'm pretty sure the blue car had some type of a spacer on the front to make the center cap fit. I'm gonna check that out. Car runs good, sounds good. They put some sounds in it. I don't know if they're done with it yet. Car's a little dirty right now. As you can see, this side's leaning down just a little bit. But like I said, I'm gonna put some adjusting to it. Maybe a sway bar link or something in the front is jacked up. I haven't looked at it all the way. But very, very clean car. Super clean car. The color's nice. It's got some pearl in it. It's dirty right now. It's been inside my shop for the last couple days, but I haven't been here to work because they fixed the parking lot, which I thought they was going to do more to the parking lot than what they did. As you can see in the background, they stripped the whole middle out couple of spots down there the apron by the street had big assholes in it they fixed all that but anyways i would have uh, adjusted and everything the other day but I had a warranty job yeah warranty job because i admit i'd be fucking shit up anyways rear end was making noise uh true track posi that i put in it which is a seven and a half I think realistically what the problem is with seven and a half when you got 28s on there it's just too much rollout and when you're turning weight wise whatever it just causes the inside the gear was actually not bad at all so it wasn't the backlash setup the center puck for a true track it's got this little round center puck that goes in there well it wouldn't fit so i was grinding it down to get it to fit and i was in a hurry and I think what it did is I tapped it in there with a hammer and I think it just had too much pressure. So it started causing harmonic sound. So the car didn't have your average uh, howling sound like a bad gear or a bad backlash setup. It had like a ching, 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 like, like through the drivetrain. So anyways, I put a different locker in there and I went ahead and changed the gear anyways, just cause I wanted to be safe. So now it's not a, got another gear in there. As you can see, I got the yellow grease on there. Looking at the wear patterns and everything or how it's set up and it's actually coming out okay. Seven and a half are just a pain in the ass. Over the years, I'd have to say I lost on seven and a half inch rear ends. I should have just put an eight and a half in it. But all right, y'all, that's what I got right now. I'll be back with something else. Hang on, Tim. Bet it up. Box Chevy's out.